In this video, we are going to focus on volume of similar figures. You will find this on page 356 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Volumes of similar figures. From the previous work on similarity, we know that when two plane figures are similar, their corresponding sides are proportional. That means if triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, then each pair of the corresponding sides has a ratio K. That's just for the sides. When we did the area, it was K squared. Now, let's see the volume. Let's look at the following table to understand the relationship between the ratio of the sides and the ratio of their volumes related to K. So if I do this, this is 1 to 2. And if I work out the volume, it's side times side times side. Uh, then if I say it's 1 to 8. But let's just go back. It is if I take, for example, this 1 and I cube it, 2 and I cube it, then it's 1 and 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, which is 1 to 8. The same, cuboids. So if I look at this one, work out, so first the sides, it's 2 to 3, 2 to 3, 2 to 3. So if you simplify, simplify, simplify. But as soon as you work out the volume, so it's 2 times 4 times 6, length times breadth times height, the same. When you simplify, you get 8 to 27. But if you take that 2 to 3 and you cube it, you will also get 8 to 27. Okay, so let's conclude. For two similar plane solids, if the ratio of the corresponding sides is x to y, then the ratio of the volumes will be x cubed to y cubed. Okay, so this means the volume, you take that value of k and you just cube it. Okay, so that is basically what it's saying there. Okay, let's look at an example. In each of the following pairs of similar solids, find the unknown volume V. The unit of length is centimeters and the unit of volume is cubic centimeters. Okay, so this is in cubic. So it's the volume of, um, of the big figure, volume of the small. If you put the big, then put the side of the big also on top and then side of the small. And then just substitute, okay, and then cube, remember to cube it and then multiply and I get this. Okay, if I do this one, exactly the same, volume of small or volume, then you must put the small side on top, uh, side of um, side big figure, and then you cube it, and then you multiply, and there is your answer. Okay, I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do, try now nine, I want you to do number A. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, so if I look at this one, let's start, number A. It's this trinal 9, I'm just going to move it down a little bit. Okay. So in this case, uh, this is the sides, the corresponding sides. So I, I think we can start by saying it like this. So it's the volume. Let's take the small on top. The volume, small over the volume, big. And then it's side, small on top, side, big. And because it's volume, I'm just going to cube that. So let's see, the volume of the small, I don't have that. So the volume, the volume of the big is 180. The side of the small is 4. The side of the big is 6. And I cube and I cube. So if I multiply, so it's going to be 6 times 6 times 6. That's going to be your answer there. Okay, so this is going to be, um, okay, let's just quickly do that. I think it's the best if we, yes, let's just do it like this. So 6 to the power of 3 is 216. So it's 216, mm, I think. 216 multiply volume 
small and that will be 180 multiply 4 to the power of 3 is 64. Then I divide with 216 and I divide with 216 and then I divide so the volume So it's going to be 180 multiply 64 equals divide 216. And that is going to give me an answer of 53 and comma 333 or 53 and a third. And that is going to be cubic centimeters. That's going to be the final answer. Okay, let's move on. <coughs> Now let's look at this example. The ratio, the ratio of the base areas of two similar solid cylinders is this. Find, okay, they give you areas. This is very important. You see areas. Find the ratio of the radius of the base of the cylinders. So the first, let R, R be the radius of the bases of the cylinders. So actually I have R square and big R, it's capital R square. So I must take the square root, so the sides will be 3 to 4. Now find the ratio of the volumes. So now I'm just going to cube, cube, and then it will be 27 to 64. And then the mass of the smaller cylinder is this. Find the mass of the larger. Now don't forget that mass is proportional to volume. So if I say volume of the big, volume of the small, that's my 64 over 27. I have my... Uh, which one do I have? The small one. Okay, so and I cross multiply and I get my answer. Okay, again I want you to stop the video and I want you to do try now 10 number 1. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. <coughs> okay, let's start. The ratio of the areas, areas of corresponding faces of two cubes is 25 and 49. Okay, so uh, find the ratio of the corresponding sides of the cubes. So let's just say, um, if I'm going to find it, I'm just thinking of what I'm going to name it, but it's not necessary. I can just say 25 to 49. Okay, I'm going to do it better. I'm going to make it also sides. So side side square to big side square is equal to 25 to 49 and if I take the square root it's going to give me 5 and it's going to give me 7 okay so find the ratio of the sides that's number A number B Find the ratio of the volumes of the cube, so in this case it will be 5 to 7 and that will give me 125 to 343. Okay. Uh, if the mass of the larger cube is this, find the mass of the smaller. So then this one will be So um, in this case, I'm just going to work. So let's say, um, it's, remember mass is proportional to volume. So say volume small over volume, okay, big. Okay, let's make it just capital. And then it will be, uh, take five to seven, it's actually this one, but I just want to show you. It was that five to seven that you cube which will then give you that one. Do you see that? So let's see, what, what volume do I have? The mass of the larger cube, the larger, find the mass of the so, so I'm looking for the volume of the smaller, and the mass of the larger one is 686. And that's 1 to 5 over 3, 4, oh, let's just get the pen correct. 3, 4, 3. And then I multiply across. 
so it's going to be a volume volume small so oh, let's just do that it's going to be three four three multiply that volume small and that is one two five times six eight six and I divide three four three and I divide three four three and then I'm going to say it's one two five times six eight six divide three four three and it will my answer will be two fifty let's just move it up a little bit 250 but then just say therefore let's just end because they have mass a mass of Two fifty, and that is going to be in gram. Okay, and that's how you do it. Let's look at the final one. No, oh, that was the final one. Okay, so that's that was the final one in this video.